In this video, I will show you how to create custom hand-drawn and hand-written fonts using your iPad and the FontSelf app. The process is super easy and intuitive. Even if you have zero experience with font making, you'll be able to turn your lettering, calligraphy or even your handwriting into a fully working font in no time. If you're new here, hi, my name is Max and I make videos about calligraphy and hand lettering. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with my future and upcoming videos. Before we get started, let me just send a big thank you to the team over at FontSelf for sponsoring this video. To create my font, I'll be using the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. I'll also use the Procreate app for sketching and of course the FontSelf app to actually create my font. FontSelf originally started as an Illustrator and Photoshop extension. I don't consider myself to be a type designer by any means, but I did create a few handwritten fonts in the past and for those I've always used FontSelf as it was super affordable and very intuitive and easy to use. Well, FontSelf now shifted its focus towards the iPad, making font creation even easier and more fun than ever before. With that in mind, let's create a font. So, the very first thing we need to do is determine what type of font are we going to create. While testing the app, I've already created a few fonts using my handwriting, like this one right here, but for this video, I wanted to challenge myself a bit more and create a hand-lettered font from scratch. So my first stop was Pinterest to find some inspiration. I didn't just found some inspiration, I found an overwhelming amount of inspiration. Like, a lot. I was super amazed by the huge variety of shapes and styles. If you want to do the same, which I highly recommend if you're gonna create a font, you can check out my Pinterest board where you'll find all these images that I've saved and a link will be waiting for you in the description box below. While cruising around through an endless amount of styles and shapes, I decided to create a high contrast display font. Display fonts are usually created with the intent to be used on larger sizes for titles and headings and not so much for longer chunks of text. One big reason why I decided to go with a display font was that they look a bit more funky, they contain more variability and I guess more creative freedom. I took my notes and ideas, opened the Procreate app and started sketching. Obviously you don't need Procreate for this step, you can also sketch on paper or draw the letters directly into FontSelf. Anywho, I've already made my sketches before I started shooting this video and you can see what I've come up with right here. I printed out my font to have it as a reference and now it was time to create the actual font. Before I start drawing the font within the app, let me give you a quick tour of the FontSelf app. First of all, FontSelf is completely free to download and to use. There is a one-time fee of a little above 10 bucks to export the font, but that fee will also allow you to export as many fonts as you want. It will also unlock other cool features that I'll show you later on. So when you open up FontSelf, you're greeted with a pretty clean and minimalist interface. You have several style templates to choose from, or you can go with a clean one with just guidelines. Underneath these templates, you can see the fonts that you've already created, or in this case, the ones that I've created. For the font I'm gonna create, I'll select the Sans template. Once you select your template, a new window will open where you can see the whole alphabet with a few options on the side. You can tweak some settings for the guidelines by tapping the little wheel icon right here. I'm going to turn all of these on. On the top right side, we have a selection tool which is absolutely fantastic and I love it. And you'll see how it works in just a bit. Then we have the brushes. Not a super broad selection, but for our needs, more than enough. The brush settings are very simple, yet very similar to the ones in Procreate. Definitely something I really liked. Next up is the eraser, followed by the spacing settings. The spacing here is made automatically, and rather than controlling the spacing of each individual character, like you can do in the Photoshop and the Illustrator extension, here you can adjust the settings as a whole, both for letters and words. I have to admit that it works pretty well, but we'll see that better once I create the font. Finally are the export and showcasing options, plus a few quick guides on how to install your fonts on other apps. Once I finish my font, we'll take a closer look on that. The last menu on the right gives you the ability to quickly scroll through capitals, minuscules, as well as the numbers and glyphs. You can also select and deselect various languages and categories from this menu. Another pretty cool feature appears once you start writing the letters. As soon as I put down a letter, you'll see the famous pangram appearing that says the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It's a popular sentence used to display fonts since it contains all of the letters of the alphabet. As you keep writing the letters, they appear in the sentence above. The same goes for the lowercase letters. Okay, that pretty much covers the quick tour of the app and now we can start creating our font. A lot of the letters share similar parts and by copy and pasting these parts, not only I make my process more efficient, but I also increase the consistency of my letters. 
Thankfully, the awesome selection tool that I mentioned earlier allows me to do exactly that. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste the most frequent used parts. So I will double tap on the square of the letter B, which will open the separate larger window that allows me to solely focus on that letter. A great feature for adding more details. The most frequent part is the thick stem that appears in most of the letters. I'm going to draw a line and hold it, which will trigger the automatic shape feature, the same way you would do it in Procreate. It works really well with other shapes as well, and it's super useful to get nice and clean lines. Next, I'll add the rounded serif on each side, and I'll fill the shape with color by simply tapping and holding onto it. I can quickly undo and redo each stroke, two fingers for undoing and three for redoing. Again, just as in Procreate. Okay, so I have my shape. Now I'll grab the selection tool, select the object and copy it. The selection tool also allows you to move objects around, increase their size, rotate them, etc. Okay, once I've copied my stem, I'll start pasting the shape in all the other letter boxes that will use that shape in one way or the other. I can then also copy and paste other similar letters such as the O, the G, C, Q, etc. Of course, I don't want to go overboard with copying and pasting every single little detail, otherwise I lose the organic touch that a hand letter font should have, or at least that's what I think. Okay, I'm going to speed up the rest of the process, otherwise this video would be really too long, since the whole thing took me almost two hours to finish. Here I'm mostly creating all the unique parts, fixing up details and counter spaces, smoothing things out and fighting with my crippling perfectionism. As I keep creating these letters, you can notice in the above preview how they're starting to show and form the sentence that I mentioned before. Okay, cool. My letters are done and now I can adjust the spacing between the letters and the words. Everything seems to be in order and now it's time to export the font. As I mentioned earlier, there are multiple tutorials on how to use the font in different apps. You can also showcase your font in various pre-made graphics that can be shared across various platforms. This is also a very sweet feature because you can see how your font is going to look like and gives you the ability to share it with everyone else. I'm going to export this font straight into Procreate and test it out. Everything seems to be working great and I have to say that I really like how this font turned out. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know by dropping a comment below. With FontSelf, you can create such a wide variety of font styles. Maybe you want to create something from your own handwriting or even a font based on more traditional calligraphy scripts. Maybe even something more modern, although that's not really my type. Bad jokes aside, you can entirely flip the board and create a 3D lettering font or a vintage inspired one. I mean, you get the point, you can create whatever you put your mind to and FontSelf is a great app to do that. The best part of all is that you don't really need to have any knowledge or experience to start creating fonts. Okay, let's begin with the things that I really like about FontSelf. It's fun, it's easy and intuitive to use. I like that you can do everything within the app and the fact that it requires literally zero experience for you to create a fully working font is pretty awesome. It's also very affordable, it's free to use, and you just need to pay a one-time fee of a little above 10 bucks to export as many fonts as you want. There are also a ton of really cool features that can really streamline your workflow, such as the selection tool, the copy-paste feature, being able to see real-time preview, the automatic shapes, and so much more. The templates are also really great to get you started. I also really like the fact that many things are similar to Procreate. It made me feel like I've used the app before, despite being my first time working with it. This app is fairly new and it already had a ton of updates and improvements, and there is a lot of new and cool stuff coming up. The creators are awesome and they really listen to feedback from their users. As far as things I would like to see improve, here are a few things. I would like to be able to add slant lines to create italic and cursive fonts. Technically, I could already create this type of fonts, but slant lines would definitely help me improve my consistency. Another cool feature would be the ability to import pre-made sketches, like the one I had from Procreate. I think that would streamline the process even more. Having a few more brushes could also be interesting, perhaps one with dry texture or something like that. And lastly, the option to create fonts in colors and textured SVG fonts. All of these things I mentioned are not deal breakers by any means just some thoughts I gathered while using FontSelf. I actually already shared my feedback with the creators and I'm without a doubt that it's just a matter of time before these things come to life. And there you have it, folks. That's how you can create handwritten and hand-drawn fonts using the iPad and the FontSelf app. All in all, I think it's a fantastic app suited for both beginners and more seasoned lettering artists. Give it a spin, make a font, and I assure you that you won't regret it. Now, let me ask you something. If you would create a font, in what style would you make it? Let me know by dropping a comment below. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to like it and maybe even consider subscribing to my channel to keep up with my future and upcoming videos. Until the next one, peace.